Hi, welcome back to Wild Reads. My name is Dave. I've been tagged. The first time I've ever been tagged in a video and I was tagged to do the Guilty Reader book tag and I was tagged by Will, the bald book geek. Roll the titles. Hi everyone, welcome back. As I said in the introduction, I've been, I've finally, finally, I've been tagged in a video and I was tagged by the brilliant Will over at the Bald Book Geek. Um, so Will, thank you for tagging me. I've been watching Will's channel for, since the start of the year and I absolutely love it. So I was delighted that he tagged me to do this. Uh, some of the questions are a bit tricky, so I might, I might have to chop this up and edit it a bit because this is a tricky tag but we'll see how we go so thank you will go and check will's channels out our channel out i shall put it in the uh, in the description box but um just quickly about will what i love about his channel is will is a straight up kind of guy he tells it like it is he takes no prisoners he doesn't he's he's, he's very opinionated but i admire that i really like that on booktube um because he will just tells it like it is and he's a super cool guy and I like him um, so again thank you very much for tagging me we're gonna shoot through these questions question one have you ever regifted a book that you've been given yes I was given two copies of shadow of the wind um, and I regifted one of them as a yeah, as a Christmas present at work so yes, have you ever regifted a book? Yes, I have. A little story behind Shadow of the Wind. I have DNF'd that book on two occasions. Now I know that that book is extremely popular, but I never got on with it. And I know a lot of people have five-starred that book. And But I have, I have now in my possession a brilliant illustrated edition of it, which I'm gonna show you one day. Uh, and I'm going to have to have another crack at that book because I am determined to, to read it and I am determined to like it. But that's one of the only few books that I've ever DNF'd. And certainly I've, the only book that I've ever DNF'd twice. So I've had a crack at that book twice. Question two. Have you ever said you've read a book when you haven't? I don't think so. Maybe at school. I think, <laughs> I think that we had to read Mice and Men. And I said I'd finished it, but I think I only got about three quarters of the way through it. I've read it since as an adult. Have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Hell yeah. All the time. I've got so, uh, yeah, lots and lots. Look, I'm terrible at returning books. If, if I really, if someone lends me a book and I really enjoy it, you ain't getting that back. You are not getting that book back. So yes, lots of times. Have you ever read a series out of order? No, I don't. Not intentionally, but I, th I think the best series work when you can read them out of order. So it's more of a recurring character, more uh, uh, more than a, a, a you know a, a series specifically linked to each other. So yeah, I think the best series books are those that you, you can literally read out of order. Um, so, but I don't. I don't think intentionally I've ever done it. Maybe unintentionally. Yes. Question. I've lost the questions. I'm always doing this. I should write these things down. Um, have you ever spoiled a book for someone? Again, not intentionally because I'd hate it to happen to me. Yeah, I think I've. I'm, I was, when I used to watch more TV, I was always doing it with TV programs. If someone, if someone had recorded something, I'm always giving the ending away. I am guilty of that. But no, not again. Not intentionally spoiled for someone because that's um, that's a horrible thing to do. So no. Have you ever doggy eared a book or dog eared a book? Doggy eared? Dog eared a book? No, I don't do that because I hate it. It's no, I really don't like dog earing books. Have you ever told someone you you don't own a book when you do? No, I don't think so. I'm perfectly happy to admit to people that I have some rubbish titles in my collection yes i will admit again i have jilly cooper novels in my collection i have rivals riders polo i think they're out of order riders rivals polo yeah i've got those why why would i not admit that i love them another question another question question have you ever told someone you haven't rec read a book when you have 
No. Have you ever told someone you haven't read a book and you have? No. Someone asked me once, actually I've been asked this quite a few times, have you read Fifty Shades? And I haven't. But if I had read it, then I'd, I'd, I'd say that I'd read it. Because, again, what? why? But no, I haven't read Fifty Shades. I've read some Dan Brown, which occasionally I do put in, in the same category. I can't stand Dan Brown. I've got a real problem with Dan Brown. But, I, but I've read Dan Brown. I've read Da Vinci. I've read An Angels and Demons. That weren't bad, actually. Angels and Demons. Well, it wasn't bad. Have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? Yes, occasionally I do miss a chapter, but then because I'm a bit OCD where, where this is concerned, occasionally if I've skipped a chapter because the book, I'm not enjoying it, and I do struggle to just stop books if I'm not enjoying them because I think, well, I've invested that time in it to get this far. Maybe if I just plod through it, the book's going to end up getting better. But then if I've gone on to finish the book and the book's improved, then I, I have to go back and read that chapter that I've skipped, even though it's out of sync with the rest of the book. So, yeah, so I, I do try and try not to. Have you ever bad-mouthed a book you actually liked? Have you ever bad-mouthed a book that you actually liked? I've probably told people that I really don't like Dan Brown, and as I said before, I really, I, I quite liked Angels and Demons. But um, have you actually, no, I thought Da Vinci Code was all kinds of awful. I'm, I'm quite lucky really, I do consider myself quite lucky because I don't often read a lot of books that, that I don't like. I'm just easily pleased, I suppose, like that, which, which is good, which is good. My favourite author, Ian McEwan, I'm going off on a right tangent now. <laughs> when, when Ian McEwan first started out, before he released his first novel, which was The Cement Garden, he released a couple of books of short stories, which were just to find his style and his voice as a writer. And so the first collection of short stories was called First Love, Last Rites, and then the second collection of little short stories was called In Between the Sheets. Uh, and First Love, Last Rites was all kinds of awful. That was terrible. That's, that's one of the few books that I've given, I gave it a two. But in retrospect, it, it probably wasn't even as good as that. I probably should have given it a one. That was the end of the tag. I'm not going to tag anyone. But again, what I say when I do these tags is that if you want to jump into the tag and say, David Wild Reads, tag me, feel free. Bull Book Geek, thank you for tagging me. I hope I did the tig, tag, tig, tag. I hope I did the tag justice. That was a tricky one. That was a really tricky tag. I don't think, if I was looking around for a tag to do, I don't think I would have done that one. But I did it because I was tagged. So thank you very much, Will. As I said before, I'll, I'll put Will's details in the... Um, Will calls them the doobly-doos, but I call it the downstairs section. You know what I mean. Down there. So look after yourselves, whatever you're reading this week. Enjoy your books, and I'll see you on Sunday for another video. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.